Right, Seems like we have a communication error. No well, feed with the Facebook Live pay per view. Right Got a rematch this fight. MMA yep. Steel run cage. it back. And we're going to run it back right now. Oh, see? <laughs> Making his way down to the steel first, fighting out of the red corner. Dabo Brandel. Donald Brandel coming to us record 0-3. Uh, um, you know, he, his, last, his last fight was against uh, Dalton. And uh, he ended up getting caught with a guillotine choke pretty, uh, pretty quickly. I think it was like 30-something seconds into the fight. Okay, and yeah. And he's like, you know what? I, I think it, it was lucky. Yeah, I, Let, I, let's let's run it back, man. I see, yeah, I seen that. I seen that uh, on Facebook there that you know there was some feud between it, saying one was saying it was luck and uh, Dalton was saying it was not luck. You know, and uh, I think he's gonna try to probably try to do the same thing here. I mean, it, it, pressure's on for for Brandell too. I mean, oh yeah. Hey, you got to get this this first career win. Um, you called out Dalton. Absolutely. And uh, but they could also put pressure on Dalton too. I mean, you already beat the guy once. Yeah. Beat him uh, fairly, Very, super quickly. Fairly quickly. And uh, time to come out and just do it again. Maybe Brandell will try to stick around and have it a little standing more. And his opponent making his way down the steel, fighting into the blue corner. Dalton McFarland. Dalton coming to us with a perfect record of uh, two and zero. Two and zero. Lumberjack comes down. His last fight, he uh, knocked out Dennis Vance. Knocked out the Mighty Oak. Yeah. Really? He knocked out Dennis Vance. Knocked out Dennis Vance. And Dennis Vance came off of a victory of uh, yeah. Brett Bardella with a knockout. Yep. Wow. He was able to weather Dennis's, you know, on the like aggressive style at the beginning, and clipped him with a nice shot. Wow! Uh, so obviously he's patient with the hands, so he knows. Yes, very. He, he was very patient, very composed. Even in the fight with Donald, he was composed until he caught that that guillotine chug. I mean, it was only 30 seconds. Yeah. But I mean, he was still composed for that 30 seconds. He's got that ice cold demeanor when he's in that cage. This fight is at uh, 225. 225. Yeah. Heavyweight contest. Did uh, Dalton fought at the St. Ignace show, did he not? Yeah, that's, that's where he knocked out Dennis. Okay. See, I didn't recognize Dennis at the time then. Yeah, because I was there for that one. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, that was a first round knockout. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know, uh, uh, Vance had him pushed against the cage there. A lot. He was really, you know, swarming up with punches. Yeah, or, Dalton just had a little push off and caught him with a hook. Fighting. Look at Rory Marshall Arts in combat fitness red corner. Six feet two inches tall and 213 pounds of weight. Representing sadistic warrior fight team. Fighting out of Homer, Michigan. Donald the Machine Brandon. And his opponent fighting at the CC roofing inside in blue corner. Standing seven feet tall. <laughs> weighing at 210 like pounds. 210 That's pounds. Undefeated as a professional and representing who? Seven Jim feet is a little exaggerated. That's that WWE seven feet, don't you know that? Uh. <laughs> Wow. He, has, he has a crowd here. Dalton's got that ice cold demeanor. Three, five minute rolls, and I'm gonna break the roof off this place. Let me hear you. Here we go. Touching gloves. Touching gloves. Real composed. Real composed by McFarlane there. He's got that ice cold demeanor. He does. Real composed. 
He's got a smile on his face here. He, he feels real confident. You know, Donald's, you know, Donald's trying to find his range with the jab there, just kind of pushing nice it out. Nice inside leg kick by Dalton. He's gonna chop him down, that's why they call him the Lumberjack. Oh, oh yeah. outside leg kick. Donnie falls down. <laughs> Dalton's in uh, half guard here. Luke yeah. Dalton's at half guard. Oh. Donald's ha half guard is opened up. Dalton can literally just step his foot out and move into side control. Side control, or he can just but pull right to the mouth. He's content with just beating on Donnie. Well, another another 30 second uh, TKO. It wasn't a guillotine. No, well, this time it was a stoppage. Caught it with a nice leg kick that dropped him and just beat on his body. The lumberjack. There's a reason why he got that nickname. I think we've yeah. seen it. Absolutely. <laughs> he wasn't ready for that. That buckled him, and I, you know, if he would have, if he would have tried to stand up real quick, I think he would have been okay. Yeah, he decided to try to shoot from his knees. Yes. That's never a good idea. Never a good idea. And your referee, Vicious Van Swerden, calls a stop to the action. Just 53 seconds into the fight. 53. 53. Dalton is 2-0 uh, and o against Brandel there, so. Oh, he's a 3-0 oh now. Yeah, well. 3 and overall. Yeah, overall, but he's got two on uh, Brandel there. Our tradition of beating in the center of the cage after your fight continues. That was your opponent's last fight. I want to hear all of Dalton's fans give it up for Donald Brandel. You're always talking about not wanting to do this anymore, but you're just too damn good at it. So, so when are we going to see you fighting again? How about that? And how does it feel to get another victory in under a minute? Uh, he thought the last one was lucky, so I know we've been working on more striking, and I wanted to show him that side, too. <laughs> <laughs> well put, short and sweet. You gonna, you gonna do it again sometime in here up in Lexus St. Louis? Or maybe over across the border? I'm not gonna say no, but how do you guys like those Hoshin Zua leg kicks? <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. And I know Donald said this is the last fight, so give him a round of applause. One more time for your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Dalton, the Lumberjack, McFarland. He said that was Donald's last fight. Making it sound like Dave Clifford was making it sound like this possibly be Dalton's last fight also. Yeah, you know, I you know that was the talk too in St. Ignis that